Yeah. We've been getting very good investment returns. Yeah. Okay. Does any director want to pull anything from the consent agenda then? Seeing none. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One more thing. Uh, the production reports, because I did ask you about our water consumption in the last couple of months and how it matches up with our water consumption. Can you comment? You can comment on it. Um, well, oh, it stopped right there. Yes. Yeah, so it's pretty much paralleled last uh, last year's consumption, but slightly less, actually. Yep. So uh, just congratulating our board on raising the um, service fee to 60%, because that did save us. It saved us from going. And it could easily, as it's projected, save us from going under again. So there is not a whole lot of bounce back. Water. Told you so. Let's go. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I don't have anything else. <laughs> I did tell you so. Anyway, um, so that's just a comment. You don't want to pull it? No, I don't have to pull it. Okay. Uh, any motion? I'll move to approve the consent. I'll second. So, Carla and Rochelle. And I guess we can take a voice vote for it. A uh, voice vote, correct? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <clears throat> Seeing none, it passes unanimously. So, oral and written communications. The guy sitting there is not a public member. <laughs> so, there's no public not member. Yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, give him some months. Um, any directors want to have any oral? Communications. Well, I, um, that article, I, I'll just make one little comment on that. Also, that uh, it was a note of a, in the, it was an obituary of a, a man who worked, lived in uh, the Marin area, and he was an environmental gadfly. He was, a, he was actually a physician, and then he, but he had this parallel role in his life to. Uh, uh, protect the environmental uh, life in North Bay, North San Francisco Bay. And uh, one of the things, that, I think he got on the water board and talked the water board up there into imposing a moratorium. So it was one of the few successful moratoriums in, a, uh, in California. I know there's a couple others, but that was, it was a major thing and it did stop development for peace, but it was just, uh, it was just like, wow, yeah, it, it wasn't such a far out thing that we were considering long ago, wasn't it? But anyway, and they aren't under moratorium anymore, but of course, but just during that same drought time, no water. <laughs> so that's it. Anybody else? I, I'm so grateful to all our customers who conserved and are continuing to conserve because it takes the pressure yeah off off the um the resource yeah and, it's good. that's a pretty heavy hammer that would have really uh, disrupted a lot of things and the public might not have been as cooperative and embracive of the project that we actually did to yeah i'm very grateful that, that people conserved and got us to a point where we're, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Pure water, so kill. Yeah. Okay. Any other? Voice to the past, I think. <laughs> so that brings us no reports, brings us up to administrative business. So there's a conditional, um, there's a variance request under conditional and unconditional will serves. And that's you, Taj, right? That's right. Good evening. Um, typically, uh, we get these variance requests because our we have a policy that every lot f have a water main uh, adjoining its boundary. And in this instance, we recommend a variance be approved. Uh, it's a it's a lot, a very large lot, thirteen I think acres or seven, seventeen, 17 acres. acres. 
Yeah. So it's a large lot and it's off of uh, San Andreas Road where it doesn't really make sense to extend a water main up this this road. And so we have, I think there's an existing customer that has a, a water meter down on San Andreas. So um, that that is up for board consideration. And then a, along with that is a request for a, a will serve letter. And the current proposal is just one single family home on 17 acres. Okay. Well, there's no public here, so no public comment. Um, any questions by any of the directors or discussion? No, I actually was a little confused about that. We would be combining two parcels, one water service. Is that it? Uh, no, they do own two parcels up there, but we would be serving a home on one of them. I, I don't know, the one smaller parcel is a very small triangle. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they did uh, make note that they own uh, a smaller fragment up near the top. Mm -hmm. But um, whether they combine those or not, I, I don't think they need to. The house will obviously be on one of the parcels. Mm -hmm. I think the parcel that's listed is the parcel that the house is going to be on. So, and you don't think it um, has a chance of getting out of control or, or would they have to come back to us for any more? They would have to come back to us, yeah. I think the proposal is just to put one uh, 5 eighths inch meter down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's going to turn into a compound. Mm -hmm. But Lucky them. <laughs> If, if they are going to do a different proposal, they would technically have to come back to the board. Okay. Um, they will be subject to the you know, requirements of the fire marshal, so they'll have to be careful since it's a distance from our water main and nearest hydrant, so I think they're going to have to do some on-site private um, storage, mm -hmm. um, private hydrant, I would assume. Any other discussion or questions? Taj, I remember this is, it comes up from time to time where they're, they're not front, uh, a parcel is not fronting a, a main, and it's not to our, the advantage of the district to, to extend. So it's typical that we grant these variances. That's right. Okay. Yes. Just checking memory. Does anyone want to make a motion? Um, or or motion. Are we going to discuss them separately? There's two of them there. Yeah. Yes. You could do 7.1.1 first, and then this, if, you, if you would like, I can go and summarize the second one if, if you wish, and you can do them both. Um, no, I understand. It's, it's a, a proposed um, senior living facility that the board has seen previously, it's it's not far from the district office, um, and they're under construction, and their conditional will serve letter expired, but due to the dur long duration of building and planning, they are now asking for the unconditional to be approved. Okay, and it's like 83 um, units, and it's um, the inner light uh, senior living facility. Is that what it's? Assisted it's. Living. It was on. It's at that former location. I don't know if it's going to be I'm named that. called that. Yeah. Is that the one that was called? Um, or that we approved? Did we approve this before? You you had previously approved the conditional will serve letter. Yes. And all the, at the time there was a WDO required, right? I would. I remember them being very creative and going to a, to a to a place where they could do that. In 2021, yeah, that then, yeah. yeah. They would have, it was still in effect. And so they met, met all the conditions. Yes, I mean, the, the current conditions they've met. I, I wish I could tell you whether they completed the WDO requirements I don't have that information at the tip of my head I don't know if it's relevant anymore 
I, 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 there are other requirements too. So or besides that, pay, water well, use. Did they pay the? They do the WDOs, or are they doing a water capacity? They everybody has to do water capacity. So uh, they will uh, pay the water capacity fees when we develop the agreement to put in their fire service and uh, other service. I did mention in the memo that they had come to us earlier with a, a, a looped water main where we would have had a, our own district maintained water main through their facility and, and that's never really a good idea for us. So, and, and for them, it, it didn't work out due to elevation issues with storm drains. So now it's all going to be private. So our services are going to be on the right of way of Soquel. Okay. Ron, you had a comment? Yeah, I was just going to say, I know the church started uh, doing retrofits in for um, the water demand offset program, but I'm unsure where they were in the process when the... Uh, um, program sunsetted, but whatever they were here to whatever regulations, policies were uh, intact at the time. And there's new new policies intact, and so that's what's applicable. Okay. Anything else on this? Um, no. So probably it'd be best to take the motion separately since they're different properties. Mm -hmm. Okay. Agreed. So does anyone want to make one and two could go together. Um, but does anyone want to make the motion? Uh, I'll move. Are we doing both of them though? One, one and one, one and two. Okay. We'll do one. Uh, uh, or, I'll do one and two. Okay. Yeah. Cause it's the same property. Any second? I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Passes unanimously. Anyone want to make uh, motion three? Yes, I'll make motion three too. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Passes unanimously as well. All right, so that brings us up to 7.2, and this must be Leslie. And this is Leslie, yeah. So um, tonight I am bringing back uh, revisions to our reserve policy for your consideration. We last updated our reserve policy in 2017 when we added the capital facilities reserve, and I'm bringing it back to you tonight because um, with Pure Water SoCal coming online, there is the necessity and the opportunity for us to add a couple of other reserve categories to our reserve policy. The first one is the repair and replacement reserve that is required under the contract with Jacobs. So that one is contractually required that we set up that reserve in a separate bank account um, for repair and replacement of managed assets at the Chanticleer facility. Um, we are required upon execution of that contract to deposit just a little under $500,000 into that reserve account for the first year of operations. So I wanna make sure that we have a reserve policy in place before that contract is executed. The second uh, reserve that we're discussing is an operating reserve for Pure Water SoCal. And the operating reserve would enable us to take the um, recent rate study that was done and calculate the amount of rate revenue that we've been collecting every month and putting the basin sustainability related revenue into a uh, Pure Water SoCal operating reserve so that we have those monies available to us to do things like fund the repair and replacement uh, uh, reserve as well as having money ready to go when Jacobs does start up uh, running the your water SoCal facility, we have the money in the account to go ahead and start paying those contractual costs. Still no public presence, so no public comment. Any questions, discussion by the board? So I had a question. So you said the, the second reserve could fund the first reserve? 
The second reserve can fund the first reserve, yeah. So what we're doing is, <clears throat> because normally that repair and replacement reserve, that's part of our Jacobs contract. So the basin sustainability component of our rates was designed to fund that as well as just the ongoing operations. So we can take the money that we're pulling off of rates, setting aside for Pure Water SoCal, and use that to fund that repair and replacement. And it's a reserve because we don't need to do that at this point, but we in the future we will need We will. And because our revenues are somewhat cyclical, I can't guarantee you how much we're going to be bringing in every single month. Um, summer, we bring in a little more. Winter, we bring in a little less um, because that goes up and down. And, of course, our operating expenditures are, are cyclical and go up and down. I want to make sure that we have money set aside to pay those Pure Water SoCal startup costs when they come on. So that's the second tier of the rate study? Is that, the that is a portion of the service charge the service as well as a portion of the uh, second and third tier. Oh, okay. the, the operating reserve, the second reserve I'm talking about, can be temporary up until we are collecting revenue and paying our pure water SoCal operating costs on an ongoing basis. Gotcha. All right. Any more questions, discussion? Does anybody want to make the motion? Sure. I, um, I'll make the motion to approve Resolution 2411, which includes reducing the funds available through the CoBank line of credit from $75 million. That's the Different next one. one. That's the next one? That's the next one. Why, I jumped the gun. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. This is the reserve policy. Okay. Do you want me to make the Please. motion? <laughs> Please. I'll make the motion to approve the revisions to the district's reserve policy. And there's a, a second. Um, it's an or. An or, gotcha. Okay. Anybody get a second? And there's no additional revisions. I'll second it. All right. So it's been moved and seconded. Is there? <laughs> is there? Um, let's vote on it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Passes unanimously. Seems prudent to do it. <laughs> okay, so that brings us to 7.3. Okay, so now we are discussing the resolution 2411, um, which is a, re it's a, a revision or an extension to our CoBank line of credit agreement. The CoBank uh, revolving line of credit actually expires June 30th of this month. And so we evaluated whether we felt there was a need to continue having that line of credit available to us. And because some of our grant funds are going to be held in retention for quite some time after project completion, it, it's important to make sure that we still have those cash flows available to us. But we don't feel that we need them to the extent that we did when we were first starting up. So our recommendation with the credit agreement with CoBank is to go ahead and extend that agreement to January of 2027, um, as well as reducing the line of credit from 75 million to 30 million, so that we are not paying as much in standby interest charges. Again, no public present, so no public comments. Any questions, discussions from the directors? So we are saving money by doing this, which... We are saving money by doing this, yes. That's a good idea. <laughs> okay. I'll motion. I'll move. Well, do you want to do this? Yes. Motion? I will make the motion. So by motion, we approve the resolution 2411, which includes reducing the funds available through the CoBank line of credit from 75 million to 30 million and extends the term of the agreement um, to January 31st, 2027. I'll second. All right. It's been second, moved and seconded. On. No, I think we'd have to do the oh, roll call. I didn't know. Oh, because this is a resolution. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, roll call. Director Balboni? Aye. Vice President Lather? Aye. Director LeHue is absent, so Carla, Director Christensen? Aye. And President Jaffe? Aye. I think that's our first 
unanimous aye. Usually there's yeses in there. I know. It says aye right there, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that went very quickly. Yeah. I guess that we move into closed session. Again, no public members are present, so there's no public comment. And uh, we'll come back out of closed session and, re and report on anything that's reportable. <laughs>